Hello, welcome to Boston Bone and Joint Institute. If you're watching this video, you may have a few questions about your humeral fracture splint. This is the humeral fracture splint by Coreflex. The splint is commonly used for stabilizing humeral fractures or a break in your upper arm. Your splint may slightly differ in style as there are many models and brands, but generally they function the same. Boston Bone and Joint Institute bills this durable medical equipment item to your insurance company. Please contact your insurance company for your benefits or contact our office for additional information. The purpose of this splint is to protect and stabilize your humeral fracture or break in your upper arm when the chance of complication is still high. This splint applies direct pressure to the surrounding soft tissue on both sides of the inside and outside portions of your arm. While your arm may be uncomfortable initially after your injury, the use of this splint will assist in managing your pain. It is important to wear this splint as directed by your provider in order to ensure the best possible outcome. The humeral fracture splint is universal for the right and left side and is available in both mid shaft and extended length sizes. The size and length will be appropriately determined for you at your initial fitting. In order to reapply this splint, it is easiest to have another person help you. Before applying your splint, slide a piece of stockinette over your hand and up your arm and be sure to smooth out all wrinkles. This will help prevent any skin irritation from the splint. Next, ensure that the buckles are facing toward the middle of your body. Loosen all the straps and remove all straps from the buckle, leaving the splint open as if it were a book. Find the round portion of the splint, called the deltoid cap, and place this comfortably on the top of your shoulder. Wrap the smaller panels around your arm through the inside, ensuring that the clear panels are tucked under the white panels. Next, gently tighten each strap and Velcro to secure the inside and outside portions of the splint. The splint should be tight enough to ensure that the splint does not move or slide or migrate down the arm, but loose enough so that it does not compress blood circulation or cause further bruising. Next, grab the longest strap and place the strap across your chest. The strap should be placed underneath the opposite arm and will wrap around your back. Lastly, fasten the strap through the buckle and Velcro to secure the splint in place. If you were instructed to wear the sling portion of the brace, lay the sling flat. Locate the two fastener pieces and attach them together. This is where your wrists will rest. The strap of the sling should be fed through the metal buckle. To do this, start from the inside and feed the strap through the teeth and adjust as needed. If you feel any numbness or tingling immediately after applying the splint, you may have fastened the straps too tight. To fix this, simply unfasten, loosen the straps, and refasten. If you feel the splint has migrated or slipped down your arm, the splint may have not been in the correct position or the straps may have not been tight enough. To fix this, loosen the straps on the arm portion, slide the splint up your arm to ensure the deltoid cap or the round portion is at the top and in line with your shoulder. Next, tighten and refasten all the straps to secure in place. Your provider may or may not also instruct you to remove your splint. The splint is intended to be worn as much as possible. Each time you remove the splint, the fracture may shift, disrupting the healing process and risking the bone healing out of alignment. Each time you remove your splint, please check your skin for any areas of irritation and before reapplying, apply a new stockinette. To care for your humeral splint, it is best to clean by hand with mild soap and damp cloth. Be sure to dry thoroughly before reapplying. If you have any questions regarding your humeral splint, please contact our office by phone or message through the BBJI portal to speak with a certified athletic trainer.